Good morning, all. To Ma'am Ati as my first supervisor and to Mr. Madi as my second supervisor and to all lecturers as my examiner. And the first, I want to introduce myself. My name is Nur Matika. I'm from Accounting Education 2017. And I want to present my, my thesis entitled The Effect of Free Cash Flow and Leverage on the Stock Price with Dividend Policy as Interpreting Variable, a case study of index Copa Stratus, non-banking companies listed on EDX in 2019. Chapter 4, Result and Studies and Data Description. This study used a sample of public non-banking companies list in the Compass Stratus Index was taken after going through several criteria with the purposive sampling techniques. The company must publishing the financial report and financial statement have a profit for 2019, uh, for 2019 and this distribute dividend for the 2019 for financial year and not take corporate action like uh, buy back, buy back stock split, right issue, and stock warrant that can increase or decrease the stock price. And we found that there is 52 companies who share dividend. And in the end, we got, after doing several criteria, purpose sampling, we got 32 companies, statistical descriptive analysis, First, free cash flow. Minimal value is in the Mobile Success International. Must value is AJ Hardware Indonesia. And Selamat Sampurna. A leverage is KB Pharma. Mid for minimal value and maximal value is PP per zero. And next, dividend policy. Minimum value is Riyadjiki Isma. And must value is Bukit Asam and for the stock price minimum value is a PP property and max value for is a Telkom Indonesia per zero. Multiple regression analysis. The first free cash flow and leverage on a dividend policy. Constanta value is a 0 0.409. It's mean uh Free cash flow and leverage are considered constant to consider constant equal to zero. It can be predicted the different policy will be worth zero point four 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 hundred nine. And then the coefficient coefficient free cash flow one point zero forty seven and and uh, leverage minus 0 0.109 so it's mean the free cash flow has a positive effect and leverage has a negative effect next are uh, the second regression analysis free cash flow leverage and dividend policy on stock price the constant value is a uh, 446 point 89 so it's mean if a free cash flow leverage and dividend policy are considered constant equal to zero it can be predicted that the stock price will be worth 146.89 and the, the coefficient value for the free cash flow 813.29 and the uh, leverage 92.15 for dividend policy 2384.3 and all the independent variable has a positive effect on the stock price test requirements analysis normal test the significant value is show more than 0.5 so the data has normal distribution and the linearity test the significant value for the free cash flow 0.074 and for leverage 0.501 
and for the linear for linear test for dividend policy 0 0.073 so it's mean all all is more greater than 0 0.5 so it's mean the data is linearly linearly distributed path analysis direct effect free cash flow on stock price value is a uh, 913.28 uh, leverage on the stock price 192.15 different policy on stock price to 2384.3 and indirect effect um, through the intervening variable dividend first uh, free cash flow as the the fellow uh, is a uh, 2,496.079 and then leverage minus a uh, 257.47 and the total effect uh, the total of direct effect plus indirect effect the leverage I mean the free cash flow worth for three three thousand point uh, three thousand three thousand forty nine point eighty six leverage minus as one hundred one hundred seventy five point thirty two and from this a path analysis we can see indirect effect for the free cash flow is a greater than indirect effect so it's mean dividend policy variable has an effect on mediating the relationship between the free cash flow and the stock price but the leverage is a lower for the indirect effect lower than direct effect so it's mean there is no there is a dividend policy cannot be can cannot mediating the relationship between the leverage and stock price so we'll test z score significance test so we'll test statistics that value at an error level of a five percent so that the normal standard limit curve that value lower than 1.98 so the indirect effect of the mediation is or the mediation is not significant for both um variable for free cash flow and the leverage hypothesis testing multiple correlation tests and coefficient of determination significant value of uh, actions uh, 0 0.018 lower than 0 0.05 its mean independent variable is simultaneously related to the depend variable and our value of uh, 0 0.400 47 this mean the degree of relationship between independent variable and dependent variable is at, at moderate level or in mid and the r square is a 0 0.299 it's mean in this study the variable of ind independent variable and the independent variable of free cash flow leverage and different policy able to explain 29.9 percent if a t count greater than t table and significance uh, value is greater than 0 0.05 it's mean hypothesis is accepted partially significant effect for t test the first t test it's a free cash flow and leverage on dividend policy free cash flow accepted leverage accepted and the second to test for free cash flow leverage different policy on stock price first hypothesis rejected second hypothesis rejected and the third hypothesis accepted p test for p test if the significance value uh, lower than 0 0.05 and v count greater than v table 
is mean hypothesis accepted and for both the first vitesse vitesse of free cash flow and leverage on hip dividend policy also vitesse free cash flow leverage dividend policy on the stock price they bought is a hypothesis is accepted so it's mean has a significant significant simultaneously chapter 5 closing conclusion first hypothesis free cash flow has a positive significant effect on dividend policy second hypothesis a leverage has a negative and significant effect on dividend policy Third hypothesis, the direct effect of free cash flow has a positive insignificant effect on stock price. Fourth hypothesis, the, the direct effect of leverage has a positive and insignificant effect on stock price. Five hypothesis, different policy has a significant positive effect on stock price. And six hypothesis, different policy as intervening variable is able to mediate the effect of the free cash flow on stock price but it's not significant seventh seventh hypothesis dividend policy as intervening variable is not able to mediate the effect of leverage on the stock price implication the level of free cash flow indicate the available fund after couple of expenditure and a high free cash flow can be used for dividend payments so it's Indirect, indirectly provide a signal good signal for investor so it's considered to able attract investor and then increasing the stock price and second the level of leverage show that obligation borne by the company affect the proportion of dividend payment especially when due to the the companies must to pay obligation so in this result of rendition in the nominal dividend if a leverage share under control will increase the company capital so it can process properly it has prospect in increasing share price stock price and uh, last the level of different payout ratio reflect the loyalty of the companies Dividend payment which can provide a positive signal for the investor. So it can increase the stock price. And this positive signal because indicate the uh indicate the companies has a good prospect. Implication practically for inf for investor and potential investor, free cash flow reflect the fund available after the company makes capital expenditure. Investor who wants dividend a uh, better choosing companies with positive cash flow so the opportunity to get the dividend is a bigger and the value of the debt equation ratio also can use best to see the company performance for the for fundamental analysis and for the company Minister of Finance Regulation number 169 tells a healthy capital is a if the liability participant limit for companies of four times the own capital and I found that there is many companies have uh, more than three more than four I mean more than four there is a company have uh, more than four liability in debt equity ratio limitation of the research first the mediator factor and second research observation because it's only compass status cannot be used uh, best for um, special sector and this limitation is only one year it's only cross-section and the sample research sample is that's what i said before it's only compass status and the variable factor it's like for um leverage i only use debt to equity ratio you can use a uh, debt asset debt asset or you can use dividend yield for the dividend policy a research recommendation 
The first, expand population reach and use other indicator for dividend and leverage and leverage. And next, observation time and I mean at the time series for the research. And last, you can use the sample from index ETX hike dividend 20. There is a 20 companies who has a higher dividend for the last three years. So thank you for your attention.